What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Birds, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general, free general collective reading for Santa Virgo. This can resonate if you have birds in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, what they've been having a Jupiter chart. So, for the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,030 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, shop, for real, for real, for real. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. All right, so the channel message I received was, um, oh, I'm oh, sorry, um, an Aries, uh, Okay, a Virgo is about to betray, for some an Aries, for some a Sagittarius, for some a uh, Libra. They never thought they would, um, about to expose huge, huge information on them in a huge way. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, Virgs. If that resonates for you, some kind of, you never thought you would um, expose information on these people, but whoever you are, I guess it's time or... Um, I guess it's time to expose information on them or uh, or something of that nature. However that resonates, I only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. But heard Aries, Sag, and um, Libra. That could have Aries, Sag, or Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, I heard you never thought you would, but you are about to. So whoever this Aries, Sag, and Libra is, um, you plug it. Oh, for some, is Scorpio. For some, is Scorpio. So Aries, Sag, Libra, and Scorpio. And for some, a Leo and Leo. So Aries, Sag, good Lord. Aries, Sag, Libra, Scorpio, Leo. Aries, Sag, Libra, Scorpio, Libra. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Virgo, you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard you never thought you would, but you were about to. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It can be masculine or feminine. Aries, Sag, Libra, Scorpio. Or um, Leo. All right, this Oracle card reading for Son of Verge. This can resonate if you have Virgo in any aspects of your charts. Uh, it's a very, it's a free general uh, collective reading, so it's very, very, very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. June of twenty twenty two. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Okay. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, okay? We have frog. People are about to start dropping like flies in a particular city. Very sick COVID members know this. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. COVID energy. People are about to start dropping like flies. Very ill people in a COVID. Um, they, they either reside in this city or they hang out in this city. How would that resonate? Um, COVID energy in a city, but very ill people in this COVID. So very sick, very um, sickly. Um, I heard they're about to start dropping like flies in this COVID. I mean, well, in this COVID. So they're in a black magic COVID. Um, and it sounds like dropping like flies. It sounds like death. And I'm just, I mean, I'm being serious. I don't know how else to explain that. Oh my Jesus. These are psychic intuitive messages, by the way. Psychic intuitive messages. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Dropping like flies? They're about to start passing away? What the hell is this COVID doing? Or did? I'm just being for real. Jesus Christ. And I mean, sorry, not sorry. That's just, whoa. You got me like, whoa, man. What the hell? I wonder if somebody poisoned these people. Or, I don't, let me see if I get anything else. What the hell? The spirit messages you have for the collective. 
first sign of Virgo. Maybe you're part of this coven, Virgo, or you know somebody in part of this coven. However, this resonates, but that people are dropping like flies. I think they're about to start passing away. I don't know how to explain that unless they just get so severely ill they can't move. Um, you plug it in. How it resonates there, Virgo? Spirit messages you have collected. It might be STDs. Maybe they all have a damn STD. The same ill, um, not ill, but the same STD that, um, like a really, 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 um, severe STD, possibly. We have change reversed. Frog and whale. Oh, Lord, this is something. Experiments to just share with like A Virgo's grandchild is about to call them out of the blue soon. Call them out of the blue. For some, it's your child. For some, it's your grandchild. About to call you out of the blue. A shooting. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. So how will that resonate? So... For some of you guys, it's your grandchild. For some, it's your child. And they're about to call you out of the blue shooting. Shooting. I heard shooting. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Community. Shooting in a community. What the hell, man? This is some crazy crap. Um, I'm feeling the shooting could be in a public area. Um, hopefully it's not them that shot. Um, hopefully not. I don't know. For some, it could be them that has been shot. Maybe. But I feel for a lot of these situations, it's going to, going to be a shooting in a very public communal setting. Because we have the community card. Um, and I feel um, for some, it might be um, like mass shootings, possibly. I didn't hear that either. I'm just That's just my deductive, deductive logic and reasoning on this. For one Virgo, your one your child will be injured, one your grandchild will be injured. One, someone you care about will pass away. For one, it will be a mass shooting. They will not be a part of it. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. A lot of, what is up with the violence energy, you guys? What's up with the violence, man? Can't we just all get along, quit stealing from folks, trying to flood people's money in communities, trying to put black magic on folks, sex magic on folks, and, try, and mowing people down with weapons? Just saying, just saying. Can't we all just damn get along, quit stealing and mowing people down with weapons? I just want to add that. Really? What the hell? Okay, so one of you, okay, so I'm pulling you, some Virgo's child and some Virgo's grandchild, very strong in here. I feel like a masculine or femme, um, grandchild or masculine or femme child. Um, I feel like it could be a teenage child or a child child or a, Adult child, but I'm feeling for a majority of you guys, it is adult children because they're calling you or maybe teenage children that, you know, obviously it's not no two-year-old calling you, mommy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just saying, just being for a while. So this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy shit. Crazy shit. So for one, it's a mass shooting, I heard. Uh, for one, your child or grandchild is, they're going to be like on the sidelines energy. They're going to witness it. I think it's going to be far away. They're going to witness it. For one, they're, they will be injured. For one, either your grand or grandchild or grandchild, I mean, sorry, child or grandchild, they're going to be injured. For one, 
it's somebody they're connected to is going to be injured. So they're going to be close to this shooting incident. And for one, um, um, they will, they're just going on the sidelines. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. This is crazy. Spirit messages you have for Flaky. A false statement is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. A false statement is about to become very significant in Virgo's life and a cancer. Unexpectedly, you never thought this cancer would, would be. Okay. A false statement is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. I mean, I'm not a cancer. A false statement is about to become very significant in Virgo's life and a cancer. You never thought the cancer would be an, um, a part of your life. Um, I think they have something to do or an unexpected part of your life. Maybe for some, you know this person, but um, but they, um, you know, like you, you thought you were done, like cycles completed, you know, blase, 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 but they're back. They're back. I think it's somebody you know, they're back for some reason that I think they're part of your community and I think they have something to do with um, a false statement that maybe has created stagnancy um, in some shape form or fashion is what I'm feeling and I um, maybe for some it's a member of your family uh, for some you plug it in how it resonates there Virgo but heavy considering energy you never thought this cancer it's like I feel like you thought you completed cycles with this cancer or you thought you were done with whatever you had to have done with this cancer. Um, but they're back. They're back. Whoever this cancer is. Masculine or femme cancer. They could have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy for charts. You have frog and whale. Uh, water sign. Uh, heavy water sign energy. Uh, double water sign. Double deuces water sign. Just saying. Just saying. Um, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Um, you, they could have cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine and Jupiter charts. Um, you're revealing a lot of information you never thought you would reveal on some water signs at the beginning of the um, reading. You had fire sign, water sign, S-type energy in there. So water sign, again, and your cancer that you thought you were, like, you've either completed cycles with or completed whatever you need to complete with with them, and they're right. I'm back, Johnny. Just saying, just saying. And then community and change reversed and stepping into a new experience. Family wishes come true. Family matters. Number nine could be very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number nine, frog. A water sign is marked now, and you know this. And a water sign is walking around looking like death. Death warmed over. You know it's because of all the dark arts. And you're right. You plug it in how it resonates, man. Uh, heavy water sign energy in here. Heavy. So I heard you know a water sign um, ha has been marked. Um so Mark basically is not necessarily targeted, but um, they are identified. They are, I, I should say identified, um, not targeted. They are identified. Um, for some of these water signs, I feel they have marked themselves. I heard it's because you know they um, um, they basically are walking around looking like death. They're walking around looking like death, um, but it's because I heard you know all the black magic they've done. But I heard you're right. It is because of that. So not only are they walking around looking like death, looking like death warmed over, so very sickly, very ill. Um, they just look bad um, is what I'm feeling. It, like aesthetically, they just look bad. Um, well, it's because they're a dark arts wielder, a warlock or a witch, like a true warlock or witch. Like, you know, I'm witchy. I'm witchy talents about me witchy behaviors but have i ever opened up the book of shadows 
Hell to the his, no, I have not. What the hell? And that's just the damn truth. Um, how, do I know the Book of Shadows? Hell yeah, I do. I got too many crazy ass folks in my community. And that's just the damn truth. Um, you've got to shield yourself against dark arts around this damn city, and that's the damn truth. So, um, so yeah. Um, but have I ever opened up a page of the uh, Book of Shadows or wanted to practice a dark art spell or blase, blase, blase? No. You know what I'm saying? But whoever this is, they're a wielder, and they've been wielding for a hot ass minute. Um, it's a water sign. For some, it's a water sign. For some, it's an air sign. For some, it's a water sign. For some, it's an air sign. Okay, so for some, it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. For some, it's Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel it to be masculine and fem. Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Gemini Libra Aquarius. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. They could have Cancer Pisces Scorpio or Gemini Libra Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine Haven and Jupiter charts. Frog energy here, though, I think is them marking themselves with the dark arts. Um, they're very slimy and grimy, like and it, like frogs or amphibians. Um, they're, they're, they're very slimy and grimy. People know they're slimy and grimy. So they, it's like, you ever heard the term ki um, kiss a frog or kiss a friend? Uh, a friend. Kiss a frog or kiss a prince? They're the frog. They're a karmic energy. They are a warlock or a true dark art spiritualist, i.e. a true, like, we're not talking about fun, fun witchy, like real true, like the red-headed chick off Game of Thrones, succubus energy witch is what, I mean, not fun, just calling somebody fun witchy, but blah, blah, blah. no, the true, when you look into the mirror, you look like you're fucking 105 years old. That kind of shit. Like true shit. It's a water sign or a um, air sign. They could have um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Menhaven, and Jupiter charts. But they're karmic energy here. They're karmic. They're slimy. They're grimy. And they have basically marked themselves. So singled themselves out in a community or a, I think the city. And honestly, I think whoever the this air sign, masculine and feminine air sign, or masculine and feminine water sign is, I think they're either he heads of this coven, because we're pulling in a coven in a city very strong. They're even either the head of this coven in this city, or a, or a main integral, maybe they were a building, I think they were a founding father, not a founding, I hate saying a founding father. I think they are a, one. they were one of the founders. Of this coven and now people are about to start dropping like flies and it's ironic i got the dropping like flies message and they're showing up in the energetic space as a fucking frog uh, so i think they were the not founding fathers but founding warlocks or witches of this coven and these people that are about to drop like flies in this coven they're the little flies in the trap of these warlocks and witches. I think they've been sucking energy off these people or attempted to or something. Flies in the trap of the frog head or wannabe head of this coven, the water sign or the um, air sign. That's ironic. I just thought about that. Flies in the trap, man. You plug it in how it resonates someone's getting such a huge wake-up call someone's getting such a huge wake-up call i mean it i mean it you guys this is some serious shit i heard they look like death they look like death man well when you go around practicing dark shit i would assume you're gonna eventually look like death there just saying just saying well There is a particular Cancer Pisces Scorpio under 30. You are about to get really pissed at. They are about to really, really become very, very, very mature. It's a masculine energy. They're about to become very, very, very mature in many ways.
one, you're about to get very pissed because they are about to come and speak some serious truth to a feminine energy. Serious truth. Real talk. You're not going to want them to do this. It's going to create a bond there between him and her. Oh, Lord. You plug it in, huh? Okay, so if that message applies for you, Virgo, I think you're still low vibrational, and I'm just being for real. Uh, whoever that message is for, I think you're still low vibrational, and I'm just being for real. I don't think you've done through, went through your healing and incision process. I don't think you've done your growth and shadow work. And I'm just being for real, whoever that one particular message is for, okay? Because you only take the messages that resonate on here. We all know this, okay? Because these are psychic intuitive messages, okay? So whoever this message is for, I really strongly think you're a low vibrational Virgo. You don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, or integrity. For some, you could be a part of this damn COVID I'm pulling in so strong or not. Only you know your story anyway, anybody else. But regardless, um, you're definitely low vibrational. I'll tell you that. And um, because there's a reason you're pissed. There's a reason if people that have done their healing, growth, and shadow work, they would not be pissed of this. They would be happy for somebody else. They would be happy for somebody else. Because whoever this person is, they're about to buck it up. I heard it's a 30 or 30 and below. So a younger S type. It's a younger Scorpio. Um, oh, I heard Scorpio. Oh, I didn't hear Scorpio. I said Scorpio. Might be a Scorpio for some. Um, everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. I said Scorpio, but I didn't hear Scorpio. So it might be for some. Um, maybe. Um, maybe or maybe not. Just saying. But however that resonates, because I didn't hear Scorpio. I just said Scorpio. Um, however that resonates, it is a, um, it's still a water sign. Scorpios are water signs. 30 or below. Water sign masculine. And you know, we know Scorpios are um water sign masculines. He's 30 or below. He is a water sign masculine. Possibly a Scorpio for some of you guys. Just saying, just saying. He he could have Scorpio and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, however that resonates though. But he's coming in as the whale energy. He's coming in as the whale energy. And uh, this is in this aspect, I'm feeling is mature energy. I heard he's about um he's about to mature in many ways. So, I feel he might have been mature in the past. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling he might have been immature in the past, is what I'm feeling. And, you know, we all grow and learn, and that's just the damn truth. But he's growing up. I mean, he's growing up, whoever he is, okay? And I, whoever he is, okay? The baby growing up, okay? But, however that resonates, he is growing up, and he's. I heard he's about to mature in many ways. For some of these Scorpio, uh, oh, why do I keep saying Scorpio? Oh my God, I, I meant, oh shit, it might be a Scorpio or some. I meant water sign masculine. I went, I meant water sign masculine. Just saying, just saying. For some of these water sign masculines, they might, um, they might um, have been very immature in the past. I'm just being real, but I heard they're about to come in basically and. Um, Deliver a lot of truth to a feminine energy. Um, so whoever this feminine energy is. But what I'm saying is I don't think you've done your healing, growth, and shadow work because you're not healed. You're not healed. If you were healed, you'd be cool with this shit. You'd be cool with it because you're living your life. They're living their, their life. Why are you concerning yourself about this dude or um, 30 or below water sign dude, what he does, and what he says to a, a feminine energy? You see what I'm saying? So obviously you're not healed whoever that message is for. That's why I say that. But he's coming in as the whale. Mature. Mature energy. Um, being honest. Truth and honesty. And like, I feel this is like, and I didn't hear he was going to come in and protect her. But this, you know, whales are like protectors of the sea. Protectors of the ocean. So I feel in some of these aspects, oh, this water sign masculine might come in and protect. Might come in and protect her. Or protect the situation, or he's coming in as a mature energy, is what I'm saying. So he's about to do something mature like. I heard he's about to change, he's uh, about to mature in many ways. So I think it's about to be in this situation too with this feminine energy, is what I'm trying to say. So 
whales are like protectors of the ocean. So he might come in and protect the situation between him and her or give her useful information. Or maybe there's a situation where um, they are in danger or she's in danger and he comes in and I'm feeling protector energy. I didn't hear protector energy, but I am feeling it. Um, it also might be, it just might be mature energy, you know, because whales are very respected in the ocean and the sea. Um, so he might be getting a lot of respect and accolades, or he might start. Um, hopefully he doesn't try to, um, I don't feel this is like piggybacking off success. I don't, I don't, I, I just want to say that. I don't, I don't think it is. Okay. Community. A particular Aquarius is about to visit a Virgo soon. You never thought this would happen, but it is about to happen. Some in a positive aspect, some in a negative aspect. Okay. Heard a, a particular um, Aquarius is about to visit a Virgo soon. You never thought this Aquarius would come visit you, but they are. Some in a positive aspect, some in a negative aspect. For some, it's a guardian ad litem regarding CPS reports. Some, it's a guardian ad litem regarding CPS reports. Why is a guardian ad litem coming visit you regarding CPS reports? Uh, maybe you're in the middle of a pussy battle. Um, I heard for some, it's a guardian ad litem regarding CPS reports. So I feel you're in the middle of a custody battle, if that resonates for you. And... Uh, that's your guardian ad litem is the Aquarius is what I'm feeling for some of you. Um, and they're, and you've had CPS reports and that's why they're coming to um, visit you. That's, that, that's, I'm plugging two and two in together here. So that's what I'm feeling community. It's not going to go well for you because this Aquarius is uh, about to realize something they didn't realize in the past. And they're about to report it to the state. Very important information. Okay, I heard this is not going to go well for you because this Aquarius is about to realize something they didn't realize in the past. And I heard they're about to report it to the state. Um, however, that resonates. Wow, man. So this is state energy, community energy, CPS energy, guardian ad litem energy, uh, state energy. Oh my God, whoa. You plug it in, how it resonates, Virgo, whoever you are. You're in the middle of a custody battle, whoever that's for. Um, I'll tell you that right now. And a guardian ad litem, I feel, has already been a part of your life. They've already been a part of your life, and they're about to become a neg on the negative side. Because it sounds like you're about to start getting CPS reports, or you already have. Um, I feel for whoever this is for, you're about to. And I'm just being for real. Whoever you are. I mean, I only pull in the energy of you guys that you my channel. Um, or somebody connected to you. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. It doesn't necessarily have to be you viewing my channel. It could be somebody connected to you. But I pull in y'all's energy. Just saying, just saying. Change reverse. Someone really tried to keep a Virgo stuck, but through many series of chain events, you are about to blossom, baby. Blossom. Move on. Okay, I heard um, someone tried to keep a Virgo stuck, but through many series of chain events, you're about to blossom, baby. Blossom. Move on. So the change reversed is you being stuck and stagnant. Um, but it's because for some, a water sign could have kept you stuck or stagnant or somebody else any other sign could have kept you stuck or stagnant but somebody kept you stuck or stagnant 
Um, but they did it for their selfish gain. But you're about to wake up or you already have woke up and realize, oh my God, why the hell am I sitting here waiting on somebody else? Let me go live my own damn life. And they're about to do so. So you're about to, you're about to move on. You're about to change reverse. Um, you're about to, you are about to be a power play mover here and take your own life into account accountability here and move the hell on. Change upright. Create your own pop, 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 pop. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Your own pop, pop, pop. That's wonderful, baby. Just saying, just saying. A large piece of timber through a home. Through the roof of the home is about to become very significant in Virgo's life. Very significant. And someone, you know, someone is contemplating an, a house fire to a feminine energy's home, but you also know she has insurance too. What the hell, man? You plug it in, how it resonates. So I heard a large piece of timber through the um, roof of someone's home. Now, it could be your home or somebody you're connected to's home. Heard it's about to become very significant in your life. So I... I think you know this person. It might be your neighbor. It might be a family member, a friend, co-worker, um, Sally Sue's down the street that has been kissed. She doesn't know what to do. I mean, any freaking body. It could be any freaking body. Um, it, or it could be your home or rental property or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. But um, you are about, it's about to become significant in your life. I hope this person has um, insurance. Just saying, just saying. And I heard you, whoever you are, Virgo, you know of, of plans of someone to perform a house fire on someone else's um, uh, home. I heard a feminine ener fem energy's home, but I heard you know that person has insurance. You know they have insurance. So home insurance. Um, yeah, that wouldn't be smart. And that's arson. For anybody who doesn't know that, that's arson. If anybody tries to plan a house fire on somebody's home, that's called arson. Just saying. Leg stepping into a new experience. For one Virgo, there was a heavy blackmail between two, a Virgo and another partner to stay together. But through many series of chain of events, it's about to crash and burn. Know this, but it's going to be for both of you, both of you better, both of your betterment in the end. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Crash and burn. But I heard it's going to be for both of your betterment. So, I mean, hell, if you're not compatible... And it's not good together, then, you know, nobody should have to stay in a relationship because of blackmail. Name, that's abuse for anybody who doesn't know that. But that's like glutton for punishment abuse. It sounds like you both were blackmailing each other. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. You should stay together because of good sex, because of good communication, because of you are compatible in all areas and um mentally sexually physically emotionally uh spiritually not because you're blackmailing each other i just want to make that very abundantly clear if anybody needs to hear that what one of you guys um now i feel for some you could be married legally married or you could be live-ins or you could be well actually no for a majority of you guys i don't feel you're legally married and i'm just being for i don't feel you are i don't i feel you are um live-ins or you are like what's it called common law marriage or um which i can't do that because of my court order paperwork because of my kids just saying um i i've never had a live-in not since i've had kids but um i know people do that's what i'm saying so 
I feel for some, it could be a live-in. It could be a live-in situation or a um, um, girlfriend, boyfriend, or fiance or something like that. However that resonates. But there's blackmail there. There's blackmail there, man. Y'all are about to step into a new... I heard it's about to crash and burn through many series of chain events. So it hasn't happened yet. It's about to. It's about to crash and burn, baby. But it sounds like this damn relationship should have de deaded that shit a long time ago. It should have deaded a long fucking time ago. Ow, 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 ow. Get that away! Crash and burn energy. Step into a new experience. This is toxicity at its finest. I'll just wait and see if I heard anything else. This is toxicity at its finest, man. You need to, yeah, please, God, leave, leave, leave. But it's not, you're not going to want to. I don't feel you're going to want to. I, uh, you both blackmailed each other. Um, But it's about to happen. It is about to be forced apart. Forced apart. It's about to be forced apart is what I heard. Well, I wonder if somebody's going to go jail in here. And I'm just serious. Family wishes come true. A new birth and a family soon. A new birth and a family soon. For some, it's a teen pregnancy. For some, it's a teen pregnancy. Okay, so a new birth and a family soon. For some, it's a teen pregnancy. So, um, family wishes come true. Um, um, some kind of birth in a family unit soon. It could be your family unit or somebody you're connected to. It's a teen pregnancy for one. Um, but it sounds like somebody's happy about this. Um, you could be the grandparent. You could be a parent. You could be a family member. I mean, I don't judge teen pregnancies. I would never want my, my teen pregnant in a damn hot minute. That's for damn sure. Mama would not be happy about that shit. Nay to the freaking nay. But I don't judge other people's families. Um, Ever, hashtag live free. Just saying. No judgment here. So there's some kind of teen pregnancy energy here. Um, but it sounds like you guys are going to be, you know, support this. Uh, you know, and the thing is, is the child, obviously, I mean, the poor child coming into the situation, they can't help it. So, you know, you've got to make best and make do with what you have. And that's just the truth. Got to, you know, the poor child that was created in the womb, they can't help. They were created. So, it's better to love it, to love it and grow and foster and nurture it. And that's just the truth. Please don't lock it into a laundry room for fucking all its teenage years like I was done to, like my karmic um, foster mother did to me. Um, please don't do that shit. But, um, but I hope you grow. I hope you love it. I hope you love it. I'm just saying. AA meeting for one, long overdue, and for one, Narcotics Anonymous. Okay, AA meeting for one and for one, Narcotics Anonymous. So you go, and that could be the community energy too. Now it could be you going to AA. AA is Alcoholics Anonymous for anybody doesn't know that. And NA, Narcotics Anonymous, that's the drug, drug using one. Um, that could be you about to go to AA or NA or somebody you're connected to. And that's community energy, um, um, you know, drug addiction program or alcoholics addiction program. Uh, community program here. Wow. And change reverse. I think somebody was stubborn about going to NA or AA, but they're about to do it. Um, Whoever this person is and how they apply it. You or somebody you're connected to, Virgo. I feel strongly feel for some family member about to do this. Um, and I feel for some, they uh, which will make family wishes come true. Um, in some aspects of here, this, this situation is what I'm feeling. That's really beautiful. Holy crap. Um, but, you know, I think AANA, I think those are wonderful programs. I do. But... The people have to, they have to want to do it. They have to fucking want to do it. Whoever this is, I think they're about to do it. Hopefully they actually complete it and mind over matter, you know. 
Family Matters, excuse me. A very high vibrational Virgo feminine, very high vibrational. Younger, Virgo feminine. She's about to find out she's pregnant. And for one, it's older Virgo feminine. About to find out she's pregnant. About to be very happy. Okay, high vibrational Virgo fem energy. Uh, about to find out you're pregnant. Baby number two. Baby number two is what I just heard. Baby number two. Well, you go with your bad self, high vibrational Virgo feminine energy, baby number two. Um, for some, you're older, so I'm feeling you're 35 or above. For some, I heard you're younger, so I'm feeling 35 or below. You're high vibrational, treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values. Um, Ma'am, um, baby number two, that's beautiful. Uh, uh, congratulations. Congratulations. This is positive baby vibes. Family matters. Yes, family matters. Families do matter. Oh, I can't wait till I get my kids back. And I'm just so serious. I missed a hell out of my little boogers. Thirty, thirty-two, thirty-six, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-six, twenty-four, twenty-two, thirty, thirty-two. 34, 36, 20, uh, 22, 24, I think. You have to go back and check them. 22, 24. So you play, so younger, yeah. Well, yeah. Congratulations. I'm 38, but I would never want another kid ever a day in my life. And that's just the damn truth. Say nay to the little red hen. Not for me, but you know, everybody's different. So. A Virgo informant is about to be let go through many series of chain of events. It is about to piss them off. But this person has been exposed in their community. And they will continue to be exposed as an informant. Wow! You plug it in, how it resonates! A Virgo informant is about to be let go um, soon. I think they're an informant to the feds, is what I'm presuming here, but you plug it in how it resonates. But definitely some kind of informant energy. If they're not an informant to the feds, they are a informant to a cult, a gang, a coven, or any other group S type energy. I mean, I feel just saying, just saying. Um, however that resonates, but I heard they're about to be let go, um, like permanently, because they've been exposed in their community and they're going to continue to be exposed. This could be, I've been pulling in a marked person for a hot minute in my reading so it could be one of these marked individuals they have marked themselves in their community is what i'm feeling um and i've been pulling in heavy earth sign informant energy heavy so there's definitely one virgo um low vibe. i feel in like the departed energy if y'all know the movie the departed with leonardo leonardo dicaprio marky mark and jack nicholson that movie i'm feeling that kind of energy um but this person in this aspect they've been They've been exposed. Um, Marky Mark, not Marky Mark, um, Leonardo DiCaprio, he, well, yeah, well, you have to watch the movie. I'm not going to give it away. But, yeah, like that movie. Like that movie. But in this, but whoever this person is, they have been, they've already been exposed in the community as an informant. Whether they're a informant for the feds, informant for a coven, a cult, a gang, a group, etc. But they've already been exposed, man. They're going to continue to be exposed. I heard they're about to be let go. Like, they have been paid very, very, very well. It is about to be cut off. They have been paid very, very, very well. They're about, it's about to be cut off. So, it, okay, so they've been getting all this money. Change reversed. It's been coming in, coming in, coming in. Paid very well, I heard. But since the rest has been exposed, it's changed things. So, it's the money the high flow of money has not changed boom 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 payment after payment after large payment after large payment after large payment but soon the energy is about to shift for this low vibrational informant 
Virgo over here and no more money train. No more money train. Um, just saying, just saying. You plug it in, how it resonates, man. I mean, for the informant energy. Now, I feel they might work. I mean, hell, I'm sure they get income other ways. I'm sure they do. Um, out in the 3D, uh, business, blah, 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 what a hell under the table. Uh, maybe they sell shit on Craigslist. I don't know. But however that resonates, the large amount of money from the informant energy is about to be cut off. I'll tell you that. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio reader is about to expose a Virgo in a huge way. And a Libra. It is about to piss these people off in a huge way. A Cancer Pisces Scorpio reader is about to expose a Virgo and a Libra in a huge way. It's about to piss these two people off in a huge way. Um, hey, but you have heavy water sign energy in here. Uh, so here's your water sign reader, man. Um, I feel... Um, I feel in this aspect, they're not going to be a karmic energy. Um, I feel they're a true high vibrational light side being here. And I'm just being for real. I feel they might be the well energy. Coming off as a leader in their spiritual community. Leader to themselves. High rank in the spiritual realm. Um, that's exactly what I feel. And um, they're about to expose this Libra and this um, and a very low vibrational Virgo very publicly. I feel. Uh, I mean, I didn't hear they had a public social media platform. But I'm feeling they do, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I didn't hear they did, but I am feeling they do, I should say. Okay, let me see if I hear anything else. But they're about to expose them very publicly. So whether it's a social media platform or in their community, they are a high right. I feel they're high rank in the spiritual realm on the light side. Um, no dark arts, no COVID energy here. And they're about to expose the hell out of them. I feel very light side, very wonderful, positive vibes here. Wonderful. And a high vibrational... 30 and below, um, water sign masculine. Through many series of time events, he's about to meet a feminine energy, another reader, high vibrational reader. The energy is about to be off the chain in a very positive way. Wonderful connection there. Wonderful. Oh, my Lord. You're pulling in this, in this um, thir uh, 30 and below person very uh well you're pulling 30 and below energy period um whoever you are but you're pulling in reader you're pulling a lot of folks you're pulling a lot of folks you're pulling in informants you're pulling in um a lot of water sign energy a lot of water sign energy reader energy coven energy i mean you're pulling in a plethora of different things um aa na meetings blase 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 um you're pulling in and all in and all but you're okay so you're in this situation, it is a, this isn't you. I feel you're pulling this in because you're about to hear about this or you're about to see this manifest and transpire in the 3D or something of that nature. How that resonates, Virgo? Um, this isn't you, but you're about to see this go down, basically. Transpire and manifest in the 3D for somebody else. It is a reader, um, 30 and below, water sign reader I heard, um, about to meet. Uh, so Cancer Pisces Scorpio, 30 or below, water sign reader, high vibrational, uh, feeling high rank in the spiritual realm or ranking up the spiritual realm, how that resonates. They're about to meet. They are definitely about to meet their match, but their match is well higher ranked than them in the spiritual realm. And they know this. They're about to learn it, really learn it in the 3D soon. Okay. Whoa. Or they're about to meet their match. So this might be twins for some of them. It might be twins for some. For some it might not be. But um, they're definitely compatible. I'll tell you that. They're definitely compatible. Not only in the spiritual realm. But I feel other ways. That's what I'm saying. But they're about to meet soon in 3D. So however that resonates. Um, I heard um, the water, younger water sign. 30 or below water signs. Um, um, they could just be like, it doesn't have to be, they're match, they're compatible is what I'm saying. It doesn't have to be a romantical match. It just, they're just compatible, period. It could be as platonic. It could be as friends. It could be as any other way is what I'm trying to say. Okay. It don't have to be, um, romantical. However, that resonates, but 
However that resonates, um, when the younger water sign meets this other high vibrational spiritual being, I heard um, they're going to, they already intuitively know that this person is higher ranked than them in the spiritual realm. They already intuitively know it. But when they meet this person in the 3D, they're going to, I think, feel their energy. They're going to feel their energy and they're going to realize it. They're going, I mean, it's going to be like without a shadow of a doubt, they're going to know this person is definitely higher ranked than them in the spiritual realm, for sure, is what I'm feeling. Um, and that's beautiful. And for them, they're about to step into a new experience meeting each other. Many shocking series of chain of events will occur with this. Positive shocking series of chain of events. Many positive shocking series of chain events will occur with this. Many positive shocking series of chain events double deuces confirmation. So many positive shocking series of chain events will occur with this. I don't know why you're pulling this 30 and below reader in so strong in your reading, Virgo. Maybe you watch this reader or maybe you watch this very, very high spiritually ranked person. Um, however that resonates, Virgo. You plug it in how it resonates. But there's a reason you're pulling these two in very strong. Um, it's not you if that resonates. A Virgo is about to attend a support group online soon for codependency. A Virgo is about to attend a support group online soon for codependency is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of online support group for codependency. We have a lot of community energy in here, online community and physical 3D community energy, but support group energy. Um, and that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Online support group for codependency. We have Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous. I mean, those are all beautiful things um, if you need them, if you need them, you know. Um, so, and that could be the stepping into a new experience as well. Um, you know, really, really, really getting you some help if you feel you need some help. And whoever these Virgos are, or it could be somebody you're connected to, Virgo, you are about, you're about to get yourself some help in a positive way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's really nothing wrong with that, you guys. All right, we're done. I love you guys so much. If you think anyone else would love these, um, not love them, if you would uh, like these videos or benefit from these videos or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, please share these videos um, with whoever um, you think would like them and uh, very publicly, social media and word of mouth. Um, BMI community on here to say it. Love you guys so much. Namaste.